Hey everybody, it is Mike Greenberg here. How is everyone doing? Uh, coming to you live, or actually recorded, from Asheville, North Carolina. I am over here in the RV while Jennifer is out doing her P90X certification. So what I wanted to do is make a quick video on the Emerald. Okay, this video is going to be about getting the Emerald, getting there fast, and getting there easy. Okay, uh, at the end of this clip, I'm actually going to have a clip inserted from one of my favorite movies, 40-Year-Old Virgin, uh, and it actually has a clip in there that really pertains to how I feel some people treat their emerald. Uh, I, th I think that some people make the emerald so big and so unobtainable, uh, and, and they really get it worked up in their head uh, that it actually becomes in unattainable. But really, it is a very easy thing to obtain. Okay, so like I said, I'm going to play this clip uh, at the end of the at the end of this. Uh, I'm doing it at the end just in case that kind of stuff does not interest you, or you may be offended by it. Then you can stop at the end of this movie here. Okay, but the clip is from Forty Year Old Virgin, uh, and he does reference a female's lower body part. Okay, so if that kind of language offends you, please stop at the end of, of, of this video and I'll warn you again. Uh, anyways, so what we want to do is we really want to talk about quickly the, the, the thing to get to Emerald. We obviously know to get to Emerald, you need two coaches. One on the left, one on the right. doesn't really matter which one's strong, which one's weak for purposes of becoming Emerald. What we want to do is the first thing as a new coach I want you to use the seven day quick start, obviously, but in that seven day quick start, it asks you to write down people that you know that you think will be interested in joining with you on your fitness journey. So for the purpose of this video, we're only going to be looking for one person to be joining you on your fitness journey. Obviously, if you have more, sign them. But this is for the this is this for the purpose of my analogy, it's one person. Okay, so what I want you to do is I want you to think of the person that is most likely to join with you either on your fitness or on your business venture journey. Uh, for example, Jennifer and Sandy, they signed together. Okay, Sandy uh, Sandy was the, uh, the number one person that Jennifer and her, they worked together from day one and she knew that she wanted uh, Sandy in the very top of her organization. So because she knew that she would benefit from that and Jennifer would benefit from having her as a teammate, which she has. They, I think they both make great success partners and they're best friends and it, it's great to watch. Okay, so now that you've found your person, I would go ahead and put this individual that you think would be a great person to join with you on the weak leg of your business center. Okay, now this is the person that will go on the weak leg and will start your volume cycles off uh, quickly because hopefully you have a strong leg that is producing and adding in to your organization. If you do not, we'll do another video on that. Okay, but, but for purposes of this, so go ahead and put the, that person on your weak leg, obviously on the outside of your weak leg, so that person can also benefit from all of the coaches that you add to them. Because remember, when you put someone on the weak leg, you are essentially that coach's strong leg. Okay, so you have to be very cognizant of that, because if you are not adding coaches into your organization, you could possibly put them into what we call a black hole. So, but as long as you're adding coaches into your organization, that person should never want for more team volume than you're able to produce unless uh, something else happens. So, now that you've got that person placed on their center, and, and it's basically just talking to them is real easy. You say, hi, I, I'm doing, you know, as you know, I've gotten great results, let's say from P90X3 or T25 or 21 Day Fix, and I'm going to be pursuing this as a business. I've had a lot of people ask me how I'm getting those results, and I'm going to start pursuing the business aspect of this. Uh, I want you to join along with me, and I want you and me to start this journey at the same time and build our organization together. That person says, okay, great idea. Always you can use your upline. Say, you know, my upline is going to personally train us. Uh, my upline is going to personally train us, and we're going to learn from the best and seasoned in this business, which if you're in fit for life, 
that is true. You can go all the way up to Jennifer Greenberg, uh, and, and we'll help you uh, get people into your organization. So if you're on our team, that is a true statement. I don't know if you're in another team and you're watching this video. I don't know. But I know if you're in Fit for Life, you can go your your upline diamond, star diamond, or even your elite coaches are more than happy and ready to help you. Okay, so now that person's over in your week leg. You've now signed one coach. You need one more coach to, to make that emerald. What we advise our coaches to do is I want you to think of a loved one that you can put on the strong leg of your business center. I don't care if that person wants to work the business right now or not. Let's say you are a spouse. This primarily is for spouses. Let's say that you're uh, that you've just signed up and you're interested in building this business and you really believe you're going to make this into a great organization like Jennifer and so many others have done. So what I want you to do is I want you to put your spouse on the top level of your strong business center. I don't care if you plan on building his business right now or not, but I need you to put them there. The reason being is as long as they're in the top of your business center, everything that gets added underneath that person goes into their volume. For example, Jennifer added me on to the very beginning of her business center. So right now, even though we're not actively building my business right now, and for many months it was inactive, but, but we're not building it right now, I still can benefit from all those coaches underneath me. At this point, I think I've got five or 6,000 coaches placed underneath me because I'm on Jennifer's strong leg, which is her upline Scotty Hobbs' weak leg. So I benefit from all of that. Whereas if she didn't sign me up and she wanted to sign me up later, then I would be at the very bottom of that business center and there'd just be that much less. So she signed me up right away. That made her emerald, okay? So she had Sandy on her on her right leg, and she had me on her strong leg. That got her emerald. Now, what happened was, for her anyways, once she signed another coach on her strong leg, for this example, I believe it was Nicole Murray, she then went on her strong leg. And as soon as that happened, since Jennifer was taking a little bit longer than most to find new coaches... Um, and she was, uh, when we were real tight on money, uh, she ended up letting my account go inactive. Uh, but she kept it there. She didn't, she still paid the, uh, the monthly coach fee, which is, which is fine. No big deal because she now had Sandy on her right and she had Nicole on her left that still kept her emerald. Then she continued to build her weak leg a little bit more. And then as she wanted to go to Diamond, she then made me active. She was able to use my business center to help her strategically. And even though a lot of times for the first couple of years I spent most of it inactive, uh, I was still there, I was still placed at the very top, and I was protected uh, by that. So for the purposes of this explanation is I want you to get your family member, your spouse, or something that you can control into the very top level of the strong side of your business. Not only will that secure them if you end up taking off and you end up signing a ton of coaches like a lot of people are doing nowadays, that spouse is at the very top of your organization regardless of what you do with it. Okay, And now you are emerald. Now your business is open. Now you can take part in, now you can take part in those customer leads. Uh, now you can get your success club. Now you can get part of the team volume cycles as you put people into your business and this is when you are essentially open for business okay so pretty easy strategy um, post below any questions uh, if you're on our team post in our board uh, now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna play that clip here uh, like I said what I want you to do is when the uh, one guy says uh, you know, you're putting the female part up on a pedestal. I want you to pretend he's saying emerald. Okay. Now, this is something that I believe that we do that makes this uh, that makes it so unobtainable. So, what you got to do is just got to go out and get it. The longer you wait to achieve emerald, sometimes the harder it is. So, the best thing to do is when you're new or when you're fired up, just go out and do it. Okay. Just just sometimes reckless abandonment and just just doing it. Is, is the best medicine. All right, so uh, appreciate it. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, I uh, look forward to hearing from you. Can I just interject for a second? Let, let me just say, 
You are you are putting the emerald on this pedestal. You're just building the emerald. Yeah, man. What are you even talking about? Building the emerald. Yeah, what does that mean? You making the emerald into this great big Greek goddess named Emerald Elias. Lion. And what you're doing is you're psyching yourself into thinking it's yeah. some impossible thing. Yeah, I think you're right. I'm putting the emerald on a pedestal. Right. That's it. It's emerald it's Lion. Lion, right? Look, look where you going! I don't want to say the word anymore. Say what I, word? Emerald. I don't want to say it. Emerald. It's a scientific word. Dude, <laughs> new pants, man.